now we're going to look at workspace now this bar this is your tools bar it may not look the same as mine it may be a long thin one let's do this little icon here you can change it between thin and fat i prefer this old school way of having it laid out so a little double headed arrow you can change between the two now all these toolbars hey this is the options bar or toolbar options even the documentation is, is confusing with this bar on the top depending on what icon you have selected here or tool you have selected here you'll find the options up here will change to correspond to this so for example if I have the gradient swatch selected it changes I have the text selected it changes now one thing worth noting so you see these little triangles now some of these tools have little triangles down in the bottom right corner that means if you hold your mouse button down on them there are more options available underneath so if in some documentation or someone tells you to use a certain tool but you can't see it on there it may be hidden underneath one of the others hover your mouse button over any of these tools and it will tell you what it actually is and also give you the shortcut key to press it be aware the shortcut keys in the exam for the ACA and ACE usually do not work so get used to clicking on the tools rather than using shortcuts another thing worth noting if I have the text all selected in the toolbars up here or toolbar options is two further toolbars so there's one for paragraph controls one for character controls so do be aware of that also if you move to the far right we have our palettes so for example if we look at the pages palette now an easy way to scroll through your document is obviously with your mouse wheel if you have one or you can double click on the page and it will jump to that page if you double click on the spread numbers it will align the spread on the page now if you wish to add more pages we would just simply click create new page we can add as many pages as we like we can also tell what page we are on by right down here and we can also jump to pages etc now if you look down the bottom there's also this no error button it's worth noting this will be worth considering to look at every now and again as we start working on our document that will go red if there's errors in your document we also have our layers palette links palette stroke palette color palette libraries palette and swatches palette by default that's how your document is laid out with these palettes to expand the palette just click on it to de-expand it or put it back into here collapse it just click on its name again or click on that double headed arrow again some palettes have more options and it seems to be available just down here and they're hidden away in this little toolbar here so there are a lot more options that are available click it off collapse it you can also move palettes so if we drag it you can put it over here or over there we can open it we can also drag that out we can collapse it back and drag and drop it back within the bar now the default workspace that's what we're looking at is the essentials one so if yours looks different to mine just make sure you've got essentials selected but I tend to like the typography one for myself I would use typography but one of the things I like to have up is the animation window and it's not here by default there's no animation window so what you can do is go to window interactive animation and it brings up this animation window but obviously I don't want it hovering on my screen like this so I'll collapse it down and I'll drag and drop it right down the bottom here and it becomes the animation window down there and I can just open it and close it as required now I don't want to reset that up every time I use this software so I will go to my window workspace new workspace and I will call this Ben's Animate it doesn't matter what you call it, call it if you like I'll just, actually I'll just, just call it Ben so I'll just do OK and now in future if I want this these panels to look like this 
I can just go to Window, Workspace, and select my one. I mean, it would look like that. If I want to change back to another one, I can just go to the Essentials one, for example, or I can change back to the one I designed. Also, be aware is you can have these divided into sections. So these are in one section. I could, for example, add my paragraph to that, or my paragraph styles to that, and redock it. Now, you don't have to do that while it's docked either. So, for example, we could add our paragraphs to the stroke and gradient panel up here if we wanted to. So they're all movable. You can move them all around. If you want to make a new one, or get rid of one, you can just get rid of it, for example. And if I wanted to make a new one just for the paragraph and paragraph stars, I can drag it to the empty space at the bottom. Oops, join them together. And then if I want this moved up, say up here, I can simply drag it above, let go. And there we go, you can rearrange as well. So be aware that most definitely will appear in most people's exams for the ACA and ACE. So very simple tools, toolbar options, palettes, also sometimes called windows. And just be aware that there are many ways to do the same things. So you can change colors here, up here, and over there sort of thing. So do be aware there's more than one way of doing the same thing, but we explore that next time.